Now, the prospects of finding life on Mars are now closer than ever after NASA announced the discovery of liquid water on the surface of the red planet. Scientists say salty water flows through slopes during the summer period. Not exactly enough to swim in, but it will be uh, certainly something uh, to investigate during the first manned mission to the planet. That won't happen for at least another 12 years. The privately run Mars One project is planning to beat NASA to it. We spoke with Ryan McDonald, who's among those preparing for a one-way trip. Today's announcement that we've seen running water on Mars is a huge breakthrough. But what this discovery means is that it increases the chance of life being around on Mars today. So in my mind, it really increases the urgency of why we need to send humans to Mars, send human scientists to Mars, in order to try and definitively tackle this question of whether there is life on Mars today. If the life that we discover on Mars is completely alien, it's completely distinct from life that we find here on the Earth, then it tells us that life should be common throughout the entire universe. But if it is related to life on Earth, then that could be an even more interesting conclusion, because it may be the case that life started on Mars before it did on the Earth. And so in many respects, we could all be Martians. But to answer that question, we have to go to Mars ourselves.